Hey guys, it's Jacob here. Quick video to show you how to use our Cyberpunk package in uh, Premiere Pro. We converted everything to Mogrid files. I have a sample video here, so uh, you need to install Mogrid files. You will get them in the zip file and you need to go to this folder on your computer or if you are on Mac you need to go here and then you paste cyberpunk folder it will look like this once you do that you don't need to restart Premiere Pro just go to window essential graphics it's already opened for me and press browse once you install uh, the package you will see all the elements in here so I'll start from overlays overlay can be applied on top of your video and they will add some details to your video let's check them out so basically you drag and drop it to your composition and as you see it applied like some glitches some effect on top of your video and it actually looks uh, like in cyberpunk style so you can go to settings if you press on the imported mogurt or you can uh, press edit in here you will get a few settings I recommend playing with uh, glitch color so you will get absolutely different looks you can also control colors manually but uh, I found this uh, color control is uh, much better and you will get uh, better results with it so we have about uh, 20 or 30 of the different overlays let me try another one Yeah, it, it takes uh, some time to import. Just uh, bear with me. So you will see this is a completely different uh, overlay, and it is perfect for this uh, scene because it's some hacker trying to uh, break in in some computer and all the data, folders, and computer stuff in here. Let's check settings as well so you see the same glitch uh, color controller yeah so basically you will get completely different look in a few seconds and if you want to change it manually uh, you can play with uh, colors as well so let's uh, move next to the text yeah, for example you'd like to add some cyberpunk text uh, to your project just type text in here and you will see all our text animation I'll just drop randomly one of them okay so it's uh, already in tone with our color correction but if you'd like to change it you surely can uh, you have so many controllers you can uh, fine-tune this uh, scene in uh, every detail 
Okay, that's too much. So you can control all the text, you can turn off, turn on a uh, text layer separately, you can change your text uh, here. It, it takes uh, a few seconds to update. Yes, and uh, you can move uh, control all text uh, separately. So let's try to move like the scale, the size, or position. Oops. You get you get the idea that it's very very flexible, and uh, you can control elements separately. Elements uh, those uh, lines. You can combine it with some overlay. And uh, if you put the timeline in the beginning, you will see the uh, glitch uh, transition. And you can control uh, its color as well. So you see it's uh, red and uh, bright violet. So there is a um, mm -hmm, let me see it should be like a color glitch uh, yeah maybe this one yeah you know th there was another one let me oh here it is yeah it's on on top so you can get completely different look in a few seconds ok let's add overlay as well Okay, so now it's a uh, much better result when you combine those uh, two text and overlays. You also can uh, import some backgrounds uh, and uh, Instagram stories. So let me remove all of this and uh, maybe add some background instead of the video yes so you can use any of those backgrounds and uh, you can uh, then add your text 
animation on top so it's basically will create uh, some story for YouTube or you can do the same for Instagram just create it uh, by pieces like text and background separately or you can use some of the pre-made stories that we created for you okay so it already looks great out of the box and uh, you you have all controls so it's it's very we spent a lot of time um, creating these controls so you have full control over the scene you can edit everything and uh, let me just quickly show you uh, some of the pre-made stories and I'll finish this video so you type story yeah it's the same the same logic you import it and edit uh, edit your text edit your footage it actually works with the footage so you see if you had some video on the background it actually will be visible so you can apply it on top of your videos and uh, of course you need to change the sequence settings to uh, vertical yes and uh, let me hide those two yes you have all these controls as well It might be not the best example of the story because the text is uh, barely visible but it's uh, intended to be used with uh, some footage underneath you see and you can uh, I think actually make the text more visible in the settings but uh, the main uh, focus would be on your footage and it will just add some effects on top so it's uh, basically it you can now use it in Premiere Pro and uh, we are preparing some updates in terms of uh, more animations and we will be preparing update for other video editing software like Final Cut uh, and uh, Sony Vegas maybe Da Vinci so it will be in the form of pre-rendered videos and it will have less controls but uh, you will still be able to use it that's it for me I hope it was valuable and uh, talk to you soon bye